Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 8th of August 2017. At least I think it's the five minute tarot because I, I had all this talk, presentation figured out. And then just before I was about to begin, I needed to check who the mother of Castor was. But then I discovered that um, in my mind, I I had for years always thought that Castor and Pollock shared the same father. And, um, but there was a, a different mother. And then... Um, I had sort of developed some ideas based on that, but then I ch checked and discovered that they have the same mother, but different fathers. So Castor's father was the king of Sparta and Pollux's father was Zeus. So that blew my plan out of the water. And so I'd been, I, I had to re rethink. Um, so at the same time, though, so what I want to do today is um, Gemini. Okay, if you remember the last one, you've got Aries is the urge to incarnate, and then you go back goes through the zodiac for nine months. And then Cancer is the doorway to incarnation, right? So you're born through Cancer, and then there are two signs, Taurus and Gemini, which haven't been experienced. So when we come into life, it's a bit like Gemini is the script and Taurus is the stage. But with Taurus, as I have, so we're meant to learn about possessions so that we possess stuff. It doesn't possess us. And we're also meant to learn to think. Or we can do nothing. We don't have to learn to think. We don't have to get possessions together because those two signs belong on or naturally occur on the free will side of the horoscope. That's something else that people generally don't know, but it makes a difference to your understanding of the signs or to your understanding of the houses. So if so, I'm thinking if you decide that you want to think better or to get a, the hang of thinking, this video might be worth watching. So what I want to do is I want to talk about Castor. I'm not sure what I'll do later, but right now um, I'm sort of trying to figure something out. So I'd like to talk about the human half of Castor and Pollux. This is because we're all human. And maybe later we'll talk about the divine part. And understanding Pollux and the divine part and the connection with Zeus, the chief sky god, maybe what's important if we're going to get the law of attraction to work, or if we're going to understand what the law of attraction is, or if we're going to be magical, right, and, and create out of nothing or bring into focus what's already there that we basically can't see. So anyway, Castor was the human child and the mother was the queen of, and the father was the king of Sparta. So the thing is, when you look up the word Castor in an etymological dictionary, it means he who excels. So this can mean that we too, because Castor was human and we're human, that we too can excel. And may maybe that's rule number one, that if we go in the direction of excelling, of being better, we're going in the right direction. Or we're going to have a sense that if we're trying to excel or if we are getting better at what it is that we choose to do, if we then if if we're excelling, then we're going to have a sense that things are right or things are as they should be. So we're going to have confidence. We're we're not going to worry. We're not going to be anxious because we and we know that we're on the right path. We're excelling. And the form that the excellence takes can be different. So you can decide that you're going to excel at reading tarot cards, or you're going to excel at using Photoshop, or you're going to excel at at being a parent, whatever it happens to be. So the the actual behavior in which we excel it can be different. We can do it in, in different ways or we can have different areas where we want to excel. Um, and in this way, we're all still individuals. We're not just lost in the crowd. 
So even though the common experience is that we're, we are excelling, it doesn't mean that we lose our individuality because we can excel in whatever area that we want. So that's excel. But then if you look up the origin of the word excel, it means to rise up or to rise or to be eminent. So for all of us, as human beings, we ought to or we can rise up or we can become eminent. So there's a Latin word collus, which means hill. And ex is, means from, or to, and so we've got the idea of rising up. Um, and this, this idea of hill and rising up and being eminent and excelling can be something that you talk about when you see a hill in the, back, in the background of a tarot card, like the Ace of Batons is a hill there. So maybe you would now, it's adding to your understanding of the Ace of Batons and it's maybe giving you something else that's important to talk about with a questioner if the Ace of Batons comes up. How are you excelling? What do you want to excel in? And what steps are you taking that makes you better or that make you better, um, that enables you, that enable you to, to rise up? So it's a bit like in some way for all of us, if we're going to rise up, we, may, maybe you're here and becoming eminent means you go up to here. It's a, but you're still becoming eminent. So that means that maybe in some way you decide that people are going to look up to you. If you're if somebody's standing in the if you're standing in the street and somebody's standing on the roof of a house, you have to look up. You know, you're actually looking up at them, and maybe maybe that's what's important for for us, for all of us, that we want to behave in such a way or develop abilities so that people can look up to us that they, they'll come to us because we know we've experienced, we've, we've researched, we've tried different things, we've got knowledge, we've got understanding. So there's a good reason to come to us in some area or for some kind of information so they can look up to us. And so if you're actually halfway up a hill, people have to look up to you. So, you know, you've got connections between ex excelling and, and hills and looking up and so on. So maybe you're here and you want to go up to here and that's you, ex, you're more eminent, you're, you're excelling, but maybe you've got a lot of ambition, you want to go up to here. So the, the range or the, the amount of movement can be different for all of us, but we do what we do, we do what we can. And it struck me as well, if you, if you go higher up a hill, you've got a better view and you see more, and ideally you understand more because you're further up the hill. So because Gemini, the, the key word is I think, th this is all to do with how we think and how we should think. So I'm, I'm imagining that what we should do is we're, we're supposed to see more so that we can understand more. So the, the idea or the, the, the symbolism of Castor and Pollux or with Castor can be showing us the way to go in life and with our thoughts and with our minds and with our imagination. So if what we're thinking and what we're doing is taking us higher or bringing more vision or enabling us to see more, whatever it happens, whatever see might mean, maybe physically, look into the distance, but it can also be see more about a particular a, a solution or a way to handle a, a particular situation. So if what we're doing and thinking is enabling us to see more, then do it or follow that path because that's the right way to go in some way. On the other hand, if what we're doing or thinking is taking us down so if you're going up the hill, you're rising and expanding your vision. But if you're going down, you're contracting your vision, you're limiting it. So if what you're thinking or the ideas that you've got about life or about yourself or about people, if your ideas and your thoughts are taking you down or limiting you, so that means that if we tell ourselves that we can't or that we're a failure or that we're no good, that we'll never amount to anything, that kind of thinking, that's, that's taking us down and it's limiting us, so it's not the way to go. 
So don't go that way. And the thing is, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, because Taurus and Gemini are on the the eastern half of the horoscope, then we have a choice. So it's on the free will side of the chart. So we don't have to we, we don't have to think and excel and climb a hill. But if we choose to go in that direction, um, we get a good result. Okay, I meant to say this at the beginning, but Phil asked for more stuff like this. So this is for that was for Phil, but it's also for anybody who who is interested in in this kind of um, uh, talking. Don't know what else to call it. Okay, that's it for the moment. I'll be back in a couple of days uh, with something else. And the other thing is I'm kind of behind with replying to people and keeping up to date. So if you've sent me an email and I haven't replied, it's partly because I'm not very good at replying to emails. But also, if I don't answer immediately, and I can't always answer immediately, I've got to wait till who knows when, till the conditions are or back to where they were, so that I can then reply. This is all just by way of excusing myself and apologising. Okay, so I'll do what I can to reply to people. So don't don't take it personally, um, unless you want to take it personally, you know. Okay, so that was it. I'll see you in a couple of days. Um, okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.